Good morning guys. I had every intention of vlogging in the car but I can't get my thing to stick up on the window and it's really frustrating so I can't stick my camera up and I'm gonna keep trying. Ooh, I need to go get a coffee this morning. I'm just fresh out of bed and I've just moisturizer on and I look crazy. <laughs> I just can't wait to get my hair done. I'm going out with my sister tonight and Damien So I want to have nice fresh hair and I get my color done and then Michelle's bridal shower is tomorrow So lots going on this weekend. Not drinking so tonight. So I'll be fine fresh tomorrow Oh, I got it to work. I got it to work. I'm so happy. I need to go. I need to go right now because I am late for my appointment. Oh my. Oh my god, my car is making the weirdest noise. And it's something to do with the tire. I think they're off balance or I don't know. There's something wrong. <laughs> well, the snow is gone, which you guys will be delighted with if you're living in Ireland because I am super happy. I have never been so happy to see the end of the snow. It was driving me insane and it's really sunny today, which I am so happy about. I ordered a dress on Monday from Misguided and it still hasn't arrived and it's Friday today, which is really weird. And it's the dress that I want to wear to Michelle's bridal shower. I just thought it would be here by now and I'm just super disappointed but look things happen I guess I have another outfit anyway uh, that I want to wear but I just really liked this dress it was like a mauve bodycon dress and just looked super nice but it might arrive later it's arriving by DPD and they're usually kind of deliver around lunchtime but um, yeah I don't know first world problems and Michelle and I are going for brunch on Sunday as well which I'm excited about that I don't know where we're going she said she booked somewhere so that will be fun so I think I might get a bit of vlogging in this weekend I know I've been pretty poor with the vlogging but obviously you know life and I've been trying to keep up with my beauty channel and I've been uploading on that a lot lately and I have so many fun videos to film next week like I'm, my subscribers favorite makeup everything is arrived for that so that will be going up next week or will be filmed next week oh my god there's still so much snow on the ground my mum was saying my nanny always says if there's still snow on the ground it means that the storm is not over as in like there's snow coming back which is just terrifying to me right now the tart one brand tutorial which i was kind of reluctant to do but you guys are like just do it so i'm going to do that as well full face first impressions i have to film that too because so many products arrived at my door this week i got new products from morphe you would have seen the eyeliners but I got um, a highlighting palette from them as well Nick sent me out a ton of products I have other brands as well to include so I think I might do a full one brand tutorial oh my god I don't know why this camera is shaking guys I'm sorry I feel like it's probably going to be all like shaky and distorted I'll see if there's anything I can do keep meaning to do that video no I tried to copy someone's tutorial but I, I don't know what to do because I was gonna do initially Nikki tutorials and like everyone's doing Nikki so then I was gonna do Carly Bible and then I was I asked you guys on Twitter and you were saying to do Shanax so if you guys have any preference let me know I really want to do Shanax so I'm definitely gonna do her anyway but I wanted to do somebody else as well work is pretty hectic like in the best way possible I have so many fun videos coming up companies I'm working with that I never thought I'd ever get to work with just really fun things going on and I'm just stoked that YouTube is doing so fantastically well like I couldn't have asked for anything better which is just the best thing ever right I'm popping into the shop now to get some dosh out and then I'm gonna go get my herded okay I'm totally like not in a parking space and the person beside me is like looking at me and I understand why righty -o. Oh, it's super, super, super sunny, but my hair is all did and I have no more dark roots, which I'm so excited about. I don't have much diesel, so I think I'm going to go to Tesco's and pick myself up a donut and get some diesel while I'm on the road, on, on route. <laughs> I was like, what am I saying on the roof? Sure, while I'm out of the house, I may as well stay out for a little while. And uh, this mascara, this bloody, I know this is so stupid, but I was in the, the hairdressers, obviously, obviously, and I was sitting there and I was like, my God, my mascara is like flaking down my face. I just popped on mascara before I left the house. I have the worst bags underneath my eyes. 
ever because I didn't go to sleep till like two in the morning because Damien was over last night and we were chatting and stuff and then I was drinking coffee with them and I couldn't sleep so that's why I have bags but anyway the mascara I put on that Lash Paradise mascara from L'Oreal and it's just flaked all over my face and I've tried it so many times and I don't know why it continues to do this so I think that mascara is officially going to be like written off I've tried it for so long and I'm just you know not loving it i think it's a junk mascara and i'm so sad to say that for me it's so like the Too faced better than sex mascara because both of them flake off my eyelashes and just don't look good and i don't know there's nothing i can do i've tried every effort to get them to work and they're still not working i think that's the end of that my hair is so soft my extensions need to come out because my hair's grown so much even my hairdresser was like you know your hair's like grown down a lot so i need to get my hair extensions taken out soon and I might give them a break between now and going to Santorini I actually hate saying that because I would be so sad without my hair I know you guys like my shorter hair but I'm just all about the length all about the length like my hair's grown so much like I got a cut to about here like all along and it's grown that much so it has grown like over an inch in the last two months which is pretty decent for me because my hair just never really grows it's just because i'm taking care of my diet and stuff like that anyway i'm gonna head go get my donut <laughs> listen to me i'm taking care of my diet mm, i'm gonna eat a donut but i'm gonna go get a donut and then my diesel and then go home it's only a quarter to one which is pretty good i need to put tan on i'm gonna have a shower when i get home and yeah put my tan on Oh, there's a knot in my hair. I have to upload an Essence video. I was working with them on a video. They sponsored me, so I'm so excited to put that video up. Ollie put her tan on last night, and she used the heat and it looked really nice in her, so I think I might use that, because I haven't used it in a while. I usually use the Bondi Sands, and then I tried another tan last week, and it was horrendous. I put it on last Friday. Just didn't work out for me. I think it's the catwalk tan or something i don't know it came in pure and i just said i'd try it and i didn't like it at all it just didn't suit my skin i hope i don't meet anyone i know because they'd be like geez girl you look like a panda today so i'm home i'm home i'm home i'm home wow those bags under my eyes I need some concealer. I'm gonna go for a shower now and do my tan. I will show you what I picked up in Tesco's. Nothing too exciting. Big fan of donuts, so I picked up the pink donut and then I got this Oreo one I've never actually tried before and I said I'd try it out. My favorite salt and vinegar crisps. These ones are the Tesco finest ones and they're the best crisps ever. Dental floss. And if you like cinema popcorn, you guys definitely need to check out this popcorn. It's the Tesco's popcorn and it's just salted, but it tastes like cinema popcorn. I adore it. So just a little bit of a food haul there. Got these gorgeous lilies for my mum for Mother's Day because Mother's Day is on Sunday here in Ireland. So I thought that they were really nice. And I know she watches my vlogs, but I will have given these to her by the time she gets home. Got my Makeup Revolution foundation sticks finally. I got three shades, F10, F5, and F14, one for contour. And then between F10 and F5, I wasn't sure which one would suit my skin tone best, so I just picked up both. The shade range is a little odd to me. Like you would think like the next shade up would be like F6, but some of them are quite pink and some of them are quite neutral and some of them are even lighter. So like F5, F6, 7, 8 and 9 I think were really light in comparison to F5 and then F10 was the next kind of shade up. So let's hope these match and then I thought F14 would be nice for contouring. And then I got a package from NYX as well. New powder puff and they're available in the UK. UK and Ireland and there's five shades for you to try and the missing shades will be on your doorstep when they're back in stock so there's obviously other shades to come so these are what they look like this is what they look like rather in my English oh, escapes me that's what they look like and they look really cool I haven't obviously opened them to try them out these are the shades that I have if they will ever focus we're upside down group love Oh, that one's upside down. What one's that one? It's called Pop Quiz. Then we've got Pure Love, Teenage Dream, and Best Buds. So that's them. Best Buds. <laughs> Such an Irish saying. Ah, Best Buds. And I want to try Best Buds because I think that looks like my kind of shade. Nude. Uh. This is what they look like. 
They're very strange products. They're powder lip cream, so I don't know what that's gonna be like, but I'm gonna give it a whirl. So when you open them, they're like this, and then you obviously squeeze. Is there any product coming out of that? Oh my God, there's nothing coming out of it. Oh, there we go. Squeezing and the product is coming out. Oh my God, you really have to give this your all. So that's what that shade looks like. It's pretty nice. I don't know if it's a liquid lipstick. Like, is it gonna dry or stay like that? I'm not sure, but they look pretty decent. Like they're well pigmented. Well, that shade's pigmented anyway, but I'll give these a whirl in the video and we'll see what they're like. From Sigma and this is the graphic content and this is what they sent me so it's their sigma wicked liner and their felt liners i've never tried them before oh yeah i love this brush guys this e06 brush if you're trying to do like a winged line this is the best brush ever then they sent me out this brush. oh that looks really nice actually as well for like smudging out the lower lash line that's the e20 i don't think i've ever owned that before and then these are the pen liners and I've never tried them before and then a long wear eye pencil and they're all in the shade wicked I believe yeah they would be on the shade wicked because that's the black shade I'm gonna just see what this pen liquid liner is like bottom is the eye pencil and the top one there is the felt pen oh my god look how pigmented they are they're super black I don't even know if that's even shown up on camera how black they are they're intense so I'm dying to try them out these other products from NYX now I've had these a little while but I just forgot to show you them this is the highlight and contour cream palette and it has a shimmery highlight there as well and then three creams and then all or three mattes rather and then all the contour shades are matte and then they sent me out the highlight and contour pro palette I've never had this one before but it's been on the go for a while and I've never tried it like I said but this is a shimmery shade the rest are matte and then we've got matte contour shades so I'm dying to give them a go because like I said I've never tried them before the cream highlight kit is available since February 28th so to tell you how long I've had this PR it's been here a while but I said I may as well show you because I'm putting this away in my first impression box this is what my first impression box looks like it's a tad bit messy at the moment that's not a first impression i've had that for ages some of the stuff are from beauty bakery you've seen these urban decay palettes i hold them i have some sleek makeup some what's this benefit that's even stevens pixie i have some stuff from benefit in here again and that's actually from the BAM, not Benefit. Why did I say Benefit? And more stuff from Pixie, and then stuff from Wet n Wild, Ingloss. What else have I got here? Essence. I've tried that before, I don't know why that's in there. More Pixie. More Essence. I've actually tried that. So I just pop all the stuff that's new in here, and then we will test it out. In upcoming videos I also have like a box of essence I just filmed an essence video yesterday so some of these are first impressions some of them were products I've already used before so I just throw everything in there this is another product I actually need to show you guys this is from Morphe this arrived yesterday oh man cool Morphe and Bretman I'm not sure who Bretman is Bretman rocks that's who that is so I'm not sure who that is. I think it's a YouTuber, I'm presuming, or an Instagrammer. Oh God, I'm sorry guys, I have no idea who that is, but I'm sure it's someone really popular. I'm just obviously out of the loop. And this is what this palette looks like. Oh my God, trying to open it with one hand. This is a task, hang on now here. There we go. So this is what that is, this looks like. They're highlight shades. I kind of swatched this one already. I swatched this one already. They look pretty nice. But I'm going to test them properly out in a video for you guys. Yes, yeah, so we'll give them a whirl in a video. This is really dark. It'll be really nice for deep skin tones. I really like this. So I'm going to try it out. Well, I like it at first sight. I haven't used it yet. But I'm going to try it out in a video to see what we think. Full of my subscribers' favourite makeup. Because I can't wait to do that in a video. I'm so excited. You've seen some of these products already before. But I'm dying to put them into action. And see what I really like. So there's just some of them there. I have everything I think now so we can finally get filming that i also have this tart stuff sitting at the bottom of my bed as well because that all has to be filmed in a video too so that will be coming up shortly and i'm dying to try all these products out and do that first 
full face of tart because I like I said I was unsure of whether or not to do it but you guys want to see it so we're gonna do it. Okay so I'm gonna hop into the shower right now sort my life out and I need to put away stuff then when I come back in here. This is the tan that I'm using the Bondi Sands so that's the one that I love. I always use this and it turns out lovely. Would this ever just focus on me and not on the wall? No no but this is the tan that I use and love. This is the tan I tried the other day the catwalk tan and I'm not a big fan of it. I was scented in pure like I said and I've never tried it before but I put it on like what day was it last Thursday I think it was Thursday and it looked so nice the next day but it came off so patchy like I don't know if you can see that there but like it's so patchy it's real scaly looking coming off and it just I don't know it went really bad on my hands and stuff I think it's just because it's more of a gel like or it's not a gel what is it like a lotion whereas I prefer the foams I just think that they apply a bit better and they get nice and dark and this got lovely and dark but like that it was just like I don't know it just came off like I can't believe how bad it's come off like you probably can't see it but it's just patchy AF and it's just not looking cute so I think that's a hard pass for me sadly that tan I'll try it again maybe in a couple of months and just see how I get on with it but right now I wasn't loving it it didn't look good in my skin at all so I just put my tan on I'm wearing little shorts so I just put my tan on I am wearing shorts So I'm just done putting my tan on so it's looking like this. It's pretty dark but it will get darker and I'm lying on this blanket because I just don't want to get tan everywhere. And I put it on my arm. I have a couple of little patches of eczema on my arm. I just hope they don't get worse. There's some up here as well. But this is what the tan looks like. So it's super dark but it will get darker. And this is the Bondi Sands one that I used like I mentioned earlier. I hope my knees don't go really really dark. I'll have to shower this off anyway before I go out tonight. But yeah, I'm going to work now and then I will check in with you guys later on. I'm hoping this tan looks okay later on. I'm so annoyed that I have little patches of eczema on my arm. I hate eczema. If anybody has suffered from eczema, it's just one of the worst things, or eczema, some people call it. I just hate it and whenever I wear certain tans it brings it out so I think it's from that other tan as well I'm just really annoyed I thought that tan looked really nice when it went on and then it just came off really weird and now it has caused like little breakouts on my arm this is not good or maybe it's just I don't know stress or something I'm not sure <laughs> so I'm just lying in my bed having my donut and coffee and we're editing to yesterday's no it wasn't yesterday's vlog it was Monday's vlog Nah, <laughs> so it's been a little while, but hopefully I'll have it up today. So just enjoying life right now. So I'm just getting ready to go out. Look how crazy my eyes look. I've just put tape shape, shape tape concealer. Wow, at least I didn't say shart tape. I put tape shape, <laughs> shape tape concealer on my eyelids and I'm just going to blend my eyeshadows in and I'll come back to you when I'm sorted with this face and all. I am done and dusted and I'm heading out now so I'm just going to put my Invisalign in because I can't have them out. I had a Domino's there. It was yum. I have eaten nothing but junk all day today. It's been an epic day. I've had fun. I need to finish sorting out my hair. I don't know what's going on with it. But uh, yeah guys, I will talk to you all tomorrow I hope and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Mwah! Bye guys. Totally forgot to show you my outfit. I wore this out for dinner like maybe two months ago and I'm just wearing it out again tonight because it's cash and we're going to see a tribute band for Oasis so there's no point in getting over dolled up. This is as good as it's going to get for the night. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.